This is the demo video for the 200 JAH. This unit can cover 2,000 to 2,400 square feet per tank. First, make sure your tank valve and your agitation valve are all the way open, then start your engine. With the engine running at full throttle, you can start adding your mulch. We recommend 80 to 100 pounds of mulch in this machine. But for this video, we added 120 pounds just to show the performance of the machine. After you've added half the mulch, it's time to add your ingredients and your seed. We recommend using our blend of fertilizer and tackifier called 1-2 Punch. Then you can finish adding the rest of your mulch. Here you can see how easy pourable mulch is to work with. After you've added all your mulch, you're going to want to let it mix for about 5 minutes. You can see that the pellets have already started expanding and the slurry is starting to get thicker. While it's mixing, you have time to get your hoses out and get everything ready to spray. Having all your hose sections cam locked makes this very easy. After everything's properly mixed, you can start spraying. For open areas, the inch and a quarter 50 degree tip is excellent for covering a lot of ground. When you're spraying, you're going to want at least 95% ground coverage to hold the soil in place. If you need more pressure while you're spraying, you can close your agitation valve, but remember to open it back up every 5 minutes or so so that your slurry stays evenly mixed. If you need to reach something further out, it's easy to add another section of hose. Just turn the valve off that goes to your gun, then disconnect your gun from the hose section, and just use the cam locks on both sides of the hoses to attach another hose. Then go to the end of the furthest hose and hook your gun back up. After everything is hooked back up and your valve is turned off on your gun, you can go back to your machine and turn the valve back onto your gun. And if you need more pressure, you can close your agitation valve. Having the bulkhead in the sump allows the unit to almost completely drain. You can see that there's only a couple of gallons left in the bottom of the tank. After the tank's empty, you're ready to fill up and do another load. I hope this video was helpful, and remember to check out our website for other videos.